heck is that? Maybe I shouldn't have wore the jacket, it's actually pretty hot. It even says in the articles, Vancouver weather is sunny and hot with record setting temperatures. Actually the only reason why I wore it is because I have more pockets and stuff to work with. It makes it easier to grab things out like the camera and everything like that. Maybe I should buy like a separate bag for it. I'm still thinking of trying to find a different kind of backpack that would be more suited for stuff like this. Like a destroyed bike. with all these lost parts and everything around this area. One funny thing that happened today is the first time actually a TV show asked if they can use one of the clips on my channel. That's a first. Can anyone guess which one it is? It actually wasn't from this year. And I saw this weird video. It was actually took place in the city just uh, not too far from here. Apparently there was a parking spot. I believe it's in the mall or something like that. And as usual, for people trying to find spots, you want to find someone who's leaving, quickly get it. Whereas these people here, apparently there was, according to the video, there's two ladies where their car wasn't actually there yet, for whatever reason, like for quite some time. And they basically just ran and stood on a spot, whereas an actual car driver was going to take the spot. And they were just basically holding it hostage, like, nope, no, nope, we got it. And the guy's asking, where's your car, where's your car? Like, it's over there. And it never even comes, like for so long. I wonder, what would you do in that case? Just honk like crazy, hoping they just go away, be persistent, or will you just go out and get it? And then I read this one, it was about police's embracing, I guess, drone technology more. It says, it's being used as a tool for Illinois law enforcement. At first, there was one. We wanted to use it to see if it would fit with some of the ideas we had and some of the purposes we wanted to use it for. And fit it did. After a big donation, the Robinson Police Department now has two drones and four officers licensed to operate them. And he was saying, quote, I started 29 years ago. We didn't have any in-car computers, cameras. Now we got computers in cars, cameras in cars. Now we're using and utilizing drones. And then they're basically talking about how even the drone has things like the thermal image, how that would be a great way to kind of find lost people or catch criminals, I guess you can say. Kind of made me wonder, do you think more law enforcement using stuff like this would actually lessen the hysteria or would it create more of it? In some ways, I'm inclined to say if it's out there more, then people will be more used to it. But at the same time, I can see how they say, well, there you go, spying on us again and again. I don't know, it's just time to get with the times, in my opinion, with the tech. Use it to your advantage if it's safer. Even they say here at times they can fly in places where it's normally dangerous to do that. Something hot in the ground too. Whoa, what is that? It's like a bug, I think. Speaking of thermal cameras and stuff, I was still thinking because the phone contract expired on my cell phone and usually companies they want you to sign another contract like for two years to lock you in and in return they give you like credit to get like a free phone and stuff. I was still debating if I should actually do that but I don't really need a new main phone because I still think this one's actually still pretty good but then I was thinking I don't actually have a separate phone for my thermal camera and stuff but at the same time I lock it in for two years I'm thinking the next year I would probably need to upgrade the phone just for like you know new tech and stuff like that to be more modern day because this thing's getting kind of slow with the battery and all that. So what would you do? Sign the two year, take a credit, get a free phone or just wait it out for like another year or so.
See you guys later.